It's retirement day for an iconic generation of subway trains here in the city. Remember the train cars with the bright orange seats? Well, after today, all that's left are the memories. Rob Leff gets rider reaction. After 35 years of riding the rails, the Hawker Sidley H4 subway car has reached the end of the line. The last train ran today. Um, did one, uh, one trip from Kennedy to Kipling and then uh, back to Kennedy and then into the yard. The most striking feature of the H4's design, the big orange vinyl seats. The comfy seats, yeah. I'll miss that for sure. I don't know why they didn't keep that, like make them red. But comfy. <laughs> While some are feeling nostalgic about the retirement of the H4, others say good riddance to the train with no air conditioning. In the summer months, those hot summer days, uh, it's just a big fan in the ceiling that, that sort of just blew the, the, the hot air around the car. So it was it could be uncomfortable on those on those scorchers. Sardines in a can, really, uh, just being cramped, uh, hot, uncomfortable, uh, really really dirty. So I'm pretty happy that they're they're gone. Steve Monroe has been a TTC commuter for more than 40 years. It's not like I'm sitting here pining away for, oh, my poor H4s. <laughs> According to him, enjoying a comfortable ride on the H4 had everything to do with strategy. So if you happen to be in the right part of the car under the ceiling fan and getting some cooler air blown in, that was fine, but it, it, it was all about positioning. It was all about positioning, yeah. The TTC happy to be going out with the old and in with the new and improved. Like all things, uh, it must come to an end and uh, and we move on and uh, with the new Toronto rocket trains on the end University of the Dino line, uh, that, that's very exciting for I think for everybody. As for the H4, next stop, Scrapyard, Rob Leth, Global News. All right, still ahead on the news hour, erasing the damage.